In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an email capture step to the beginning of your sales flow. This is a very common step to have in a sales process in a typical sales funnel. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. It's super easy to do. So let's just jump in. I've got a flow all set up right here. I'm going to show you it and then I'll show you how to do it. It's actually quite simple. So I have a first step here that I've named email opt-in. The next step is 10X strength. That's what I named it. Then it goes to a checkout page and upsell and then a thank you page. This is what it looks like. So here's that first step. It's an email capture form. Now I did this in Elementor. It's gonna work fine with Divi and Beaver Builder and all of those, of course. So when your buyer comes here and they put their name and email in and click on contact me, well, you probably wanna make that name of the button something different than contact me. I just did this quick for the example. Uh, it's gonna then take them to the landing page where they can learn about the product. So let me go ahead and fill this out really quick. Okay, I filled it out, put my name and all of that. I'm gonna click on contact me. And this was actually just an Elementor template uh, that I used uh, really quick because it looked kind of fitness related. And you're gonna see what happens, boom. It just sent me right on to the next step in this flow that I've set up. Uh, so let's just uh, go through how I did this. It's actually quite simple. So I'm gonna go to flows and I'm gonna go ahead and click on add new. I used this one right here. Let's just for the sake of fun, let's add a different one. Uh, I always like this, this right here, so I'll click on import. So first I'm going to, or you can of course build a flow from scratch. It's completely up to you uh, how you want to start your sales flow. Okay, now that that is all here, I'm gonna just go ahead and give it a name and then I'm gonna click on update to save it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and saved it and this is just the default one that we have set up, but the first step is actually that sales page. So here is the first step here and we want to ask for their email address before we even start this buyer process. And this is how we do it. We're gonna click on add new step and I'm gonna go ahead with landing and I'm going to start from scratch. So I'll go ahead and click on create. It's gonna essentially add this blank step in there that I can build using the page builder that I am using. And it adds it to the bottom, but we want this to be the first step in this funnel. So I'm gonna drag it to the top. Uh, let's just go ahead and click on update. So now uh, what we wanna do is change the name of that step so it makes sense. You saw how I had given it a different name. We're gonna wanna do that and it's super easy to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit and it's gonna take me into this step and I'm gonna change the name. But if you didn't know this, you could also change the link that takes someone to this page. It's super easy, you just click on edit and you can make this whatever you want. And you can do that for every step in your flows. So I'm gonna go ahead and change these two right now. Okay, so I've named it email notifications and the link to take someone here, I made ebook notification. You can make it whatever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on update. This is more for it to make more sense to you when you're looking at the names of the different steps and also to have that grain, fine grain control over the links that someone would visit to get to the various steps in your flow. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to right here where it says back to edit flow. And what you're gonna notice is what we named that step updates right here so it just makes logical sense so now what we need to do is we need to get the direct link to the landing page step which is the first step in the flow and I'm also going to rename it at the same time so let me just go ahead and edit it and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to change the name of the step and also change the link because Landing page seven is not that sexy. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this. Okay, so you can see I named it Sales Funnel Secrets and the direct link is the URL to my website. Sales Funnel Secrets is the rest of the link. That looks a lot better than what I had. You can make this whatever you want. But now what we need to do is we need to highlight this and copy it into our clipboard. So for me, I'm on a PC, I'm gonna hit Control C. Now this direct link is in the clipboard. 
So now that I've done that, I'm going to click back to edit flow. And what you're going to notice is now the name that we put for that step is also what is here. So now this sales flow, the steps make a little bit more sense. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into the very first step of this flow and let's add a page template to it in an email capture form. So right now there's nothing here. I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. Now you can use any email opt-in plugin solution tool that you like to use and that's what Cartflows is all about is giving you choice to use the tools that you like to use that you already know how to use. So with Elementor, I have Elementor Pro and it comes with an email form type of module and so I'm going to use that for right now in this video. Beaver Builder has the same subscription form module and Divi has one as well. And while we're at it, Breezy and Thrive Architect have it. So you're, you're not going to run out of ways to request an email and get it sent into whatever email provider that you have. So with Elementor, I'm just going to uh, find it right here. I think it's called Form. There it is. I'll just drag and drop it right here. And by default, it asks for the name, the email, and the message. I don't want message, so I'm going to click this X and it's gone. You have full design control over this, of course. Now with Elementor, what you do is there's a section right here that says Action After Submit. And when I click on that, it's going to show this option here and what I'm going to do if I click into it it gives me additional actions after the submit and what I want to do is choose this one that says redirect and what this says is after someone puts their information in it's going to then redirect them to this direct link so it adds the option here that says redirect I can expand it and right here is where I want to paste the link, the direct link to the next step. When we are using the email capture form, you don't want to use the next step link that you can use in other steps. You need to use the direct link to the next step, which is very simple. And we just grabbed that a second ago and here it is. So I can go ahead and click on update. Now on the front end, when someone puts their name and email address in and then clicks on send, it's actually going to then capture that information. And we could spend a little bit more time configuring this for your email autoresponder service. And then it's going to redirect them to the first step in that page or in the sales flow. Uh, well, it's going to take them directly to this link. Now, if I wanted to be more pretty about this, I could click the little icon here and use one of the templates here. Uh, Beaver Builder, Divi, Breezy, they all have templates that you can use. So I could have gone down here and glanced at some of their templates. This was the one I used in the example, uh, but we can use any of these that has an email capture form. So right here's one, and this looks more of like of a travel type of thing so I'll just click on insert and show you how easy it is to do that it's going to go ahead and download this template in there with the design already there for that particular template okay here it is oh it just actually added it so let's get rid of what I did there it is and here's my form so I can click on it and I just want name and email. I don't want phone number or how many persons. Uh, there we are. Uh, obviously, I would change the styling some, but it's the same thing. I go to actions after submit. I click right here. I choose redirect and then it makes this reveal. I go there and I paste that link in right there. Click on update and whatever happens when someone puts their name and email in, it's going to send them to the next step. So let's just test it. Why don't we? So I'm going to click on exit to dashboard and then I will click right here. And so now I'm on that the first step in the flow. Actually, that doesn't look exactly how I wanted it. I need to choose a different page template right here that says template for page builders. I'll click on update. And that's going to make it all full width and everything looking really good. Now it should look a lot better and let's go ahead and test it. So I'll go ahead and fill this out. There it is. Now when I click on bring on the deals, I could have customized that text to whatever I wanted. It should take me, I just clicked on it. It should take me to that direct link, which is the next step in the flow, which is right here is the ebook sales page. And then if someone wants this, they can click on get the book and it's going to take them straight on over to the checkout page uh, right here. And it's as simple as that. So that is how easy it is to have that first step be 
asking for an email address and you probably already have an email capture solution that you can use on that step and then just send them to the next step. Just remember that next step, you need to use the direct link and whatever email capture tool you're using will have an option for the redirect. Just look for that page redirect and put that direct link in. You are set, you are golden, and now you're gonna be able to capture people's email addresses up front. So that's it, that, that's all I had in this video for you. Remember to like it if you found some value in it, click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, and if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.